Hello friends welcome to my channel Tech Gitter. I hope you all are doing well. It is a common problem on Windows 10 and 11 that sometimes the Wi-Fi option is not visible on the taskbar or in the Windows settings and even if you go to the network and internet settings you won't be able to see any network listed on your Windows. In today's video, we are going to discuss this topic. How can we fix this problem on our Windows PC? So stay tuned till the end of the video and watch the full video without skipping. Let's start the video. Before proceeding further we need to check whether this is a Windows issue or a problem with your computer hardware like a network card. For this, we will go to the Start menu and search CMD. Open the command prompt. Here we will type ping space 127.1.1.1 and press enter. If you get this kind of response on the screen, it means that there is nothing wrong with your computer hardware. This is just a problem with your Windows. To fix this problem on Windows, we will see the steps to fix it in different ways step by step. So watch the video completely without skipping so that you do not miss any steps. The first way is to go to the straight menu and find control panel. Open it and click on the network option. Now we will see a new box in which we have to click on the advanced tab. Click on restore advanced settings then click on reset and again click on reset. Now close it. This will reset the internet option on your windows, but it may not fix your problem completely. So let's move on to the second step. Press the Windows and R keys together. Now type services.msc here and then press OK. You will see a list of Windows services on the screen. Here you have to search for LAN Auto Configuration. And make sure that this service is running. If it is not running, then you will get the option to start this service at the top as you can see on the screen. Or you can right-click on this service and go to Properties and here you will get the option to start it. Here we have to choose Automatic, then press Apply and click OK. After this, restart your Windows PC. If the LAN Auto Configuration service is already running, then you have to follow the next step directly, which is as follows. For this, go to the Start menu and search for Settings. Now go to Network and Internet and then click on Change Adapter Options. Here you will see your Wi-Fi adapter. If it is disabled, then right-click on it and click on Enable. And if it is already enabled, then disable it once and enable it again. By doing this, the network adapter will be enabled on your Windows and your problem will be solved. If it is still not working, then we have to proceed one more step. Press the Windows and R key together. Here type divmd.msc and press OK. You will see a list of device manager on the screen. Go to network adapters and expand the options. Here you will see the list of your Wi-Fi network adapters. Check your network. Here I will right-click on the Broadcom network adapter and click on Update Driver. Right now you are not connected to Wi-Fi so you will not be able to search for automatic driver installation. So here I am clicking on Browse my computer for drivers. Then click on Let me pick from the list of available drivers. Now here you have to select the driver up to the date where your Wi-Fi was working and then click on Next. Your driver will start installing. Once the installation is complete restart your Windows and check if the Wi-Fi option is visible or not. If the Wi-Fi option is not visible then come back to this page, right-click on this network driver and go to Properties. Then go to Power Management and uncheck this option allow the computer to turn off this device to save power after that press OK. Again check whether you are seeing the network option or not if not then come back to this page. Right-click on the network driver and click on Uninstall Device. Then click on Uninstall. After uninstalling, you have to restart Windows again. After the PC restarts, it will reinstall your driver. Now you have to check again whether you are getting the Wi-Fi option or not, and if you still cannot see the Wi-Fi network option, then we move to our next steps. Search settings on the Start menu, go to Network and Internet, and then click on Reset Network. Click on Reset now, then press Yes to confirm. After this Windows will restart itself and reset your network. This will remove everything network related from your settings and it will start fresh. If you find it still not working then search for CMD on your Windows and open it as administrator. Here type netch space windsock space reset and press enter. And then type netch space in space IP space reset space reset log .txt and press enter. By doing this it will clear the IPv4 log from your Windows. After this restart your Windows again and check if you can see the Wi-Fi network. If this also not working, then now we have to take another working computer where you will be able to access internet. 
To do this go to Google Chrome and search for your laptop model number and network driver if you have custom built PC then you can find the network card driver just look for the motherboard model number or network card model number and if it is a laptop then download its driver so I have to download network driver for laptop manufacturer website you have to select your operating system and after that you will find network driver like this like Intel wireless lawn or any other wireless lawn driver and then copy and paste the driver on your computer and install it after installation after that you will be able to see the Wi-Fi network but if you are still having problems then press windows and our keys together type msconfig then press ok here go to the services tab click on enable apply all services and click on ok after that restart windows and check if you can see the wi-fi option or not so by following all these steps you can solve your wi-fi problem if you are still facing any problems connecting to the wi-fi network tell me in the comment box and we will come up with another video i hope you liked this video Share the video and if you are new to the channel then subscribe. Have a nice day.